Hello friends, in the last session we discussed about the working principle of centrifugal pump. Pillar is converted in kinetic energy. This kinetic energy converts in hydrodynamic energy in moving fluid in the casing so that the pump is transmitted the fluid from low level to higher region okay where that is target source when the impeller is submerged in water or when water is in impeller it will rotate in casing so that the negative or vacuum or lower pressure is created at the eye of impeller or at the center of your impeller so that the water which is at atmospheric condition in the lower elevation will come or will draw to the center of your impeller. So due to pressure difference, this rotational energy of your impeller is kinetic uh, convert into your kinetic energy okay, in the form of higher velocity. Due to casing, it will convert again from kinetic energy to pressure energy. That is nothing but your hydrodynamic energy or your pressure head. So this is the simple concept of working centrifugal pump. So in this session, we will discuss about the classification of your centrifugal pump. Okay, classification of the centrifugal pump based on the different uh, mechanisms are there. One is based on the energy conversion, based on your stage, impellers, suction, and your casing, rotation, and method of drive. So let us discuss one by one. Okay, now first one is your based on your energy conversion. So there are two types. One is your volume type and diffuser type if you see this picture okay the casing if you see the from the top here okay the cross section area of this casing is gradually increases toward the outlet okay when the area when the area of this casing is gradually increases in this condition and the pressure head is increases so that is the concept which we is going to use in the volume type centrifugal pump okay and this type of pumps are mainly for the drainage irrigation and drinking water supply next one diffuser or turbine type pump so in this impeller sides we will attach some diffuser okay see here these are diffuser one two three seven eight like the surrounding of this impeller surrounding of this impeller again we attach diffusers so the diffusers look like see the diffuser here the cross section area of this or distance between these two impeller top okay so outer periphery is increases and here is the reduces or it is here uh, area is going to outer periphery the area is increases so this is called your diffuser okay these are the impellers are surrounded by the diffuser this diffuser when like impellers are curved and gradual enlarged to outer edge in this condition the water will enter and these veins will create same phenomenon like when the area is increases kinetic energy is reduces and pressure energy pressure uh, energy increases this is the concept used in your diffuser type centrifugal pump next one is based on the impellers so based on the impeller and efficiency this uh, impeller will decides so these impellers are maybe open semi open and enclosed or closed pumps okay so this is the center is a shaft okay so here now open impeller open impellers means there is a no shroud or hub or is not attached from any side of this impeller as shown in this picture okay these pumps are uh, open both sides such pumps are used very rough duty and as a result this will use uh, where the high sand okay sand mud clay as well as small solids contamination is there in this type these pumps are more preferred so the efficiency is very low that is 25 percent okay and next one semi open or semi closed means only one side closed as shown in this picture see only one side uh this plate circular plate or around this impeller is attached so uh, that is maybe only one side we call only back side so this design is adapted where the industrial purpose okay and this liquid uh having this suspended material okay like in the sugar molasses sewage water so the efficiency of this pump it is little bit more than your open type impeller and last one is your closed impeller closed impeller means here this type of plate okay here this type of plate will close on top side also means both side both side this impeller will close with this rub or we call plate these are used for the pumping clean water 
ओके एंड हार्ट वाटर एसिड ओके एंड वेरी लो रिक्वायर्ड नेट पॉस्टक्शन हिट एंड दिस इज द क्वेश्चन दे आस्क इन दी एसआरएफ इन 2021 द एफिशिएंसी ऑफ इंपेलर्स वेयर द हायर एफिशिएंसी एंड वेयर इज द लो एफिशिएंसी दिस क्लोज एफिशिएंसी आर क्लोज इंपेलर आर हाई एफिशिएंसी एंड ओपन इंपेलर आर very low efficient and uh, next one this type of questions also expected maybe in the examination bronze cast iron impeller where you use ordinary water may pump gun metal impeller may be used for the brackish or salt water so non clogged impeller used for the sewage water so based on your impeller okay which type of uh, impeller may be used okay for the dealing with contaminated or slurry water so that is your open impeller okay see here so open impeller will use for the where the sand water or small solids all these things uh, type of water will use for fresh water will use only closed impellers next the pumps based on your stage single stage multi stage let us see the single stage pump so here the total head developed by the single impeller only Now what does it mean this pump have only one impeller okay only one impeller so that one impeller may be pump the water up to certain height that is single stage impeller multi stage impeller means more than two okay impellers are used for developing the head or pumping the water so these impellers are arranged on common shaft or single shaft so that is if you see in this picture here how many impellers are there so this is one this is the two so this water or this impeller will pump the water to the next impeller and this water pump the next impeller means so like this so common uh, discharge that is same discharge will pump to the next higher head so here if you see this picture how many impellers are there here the total are 10 impellers are there okay suppose water is coming for in this direction the first impeller will pump the second impeller second to third third to fourth and so on it will continue and each pump will develop certain height so it will give the maximum height suppose the one impeller pump the height up to 10 meters so here how many impellers are there 10 impellers are there so total head is developed by 10 into 10 so that is your 100 meters another case suppose 10 impellers are there if one impeller practically deals 6 meter height so total head is 10 into 6 meter that is your 60 meters so this type of questions also may be asked okay so this is the multi stage pump now what are the main characteristics of this multi uh, stage pumps one is your if head and brake hard power increases that is uh, directly proportional to number of stages means if your number of stages are increasing that means the head also increases as i told you and power consumption of this pump also increases and both those are directly proportional and discharge and efficiency is equal or same as your single stage pump or single stage pump operating alone what does it mean exactly suppose here how many uh, one impeller is there okay this first impeller will draw some assume that 50 liters of water this pump again send the 50 liter to next impeller so this impeller will not draw additional any water so this only but this water will go to the this impeller that is only 50 liters so next third impeller also because only 50 liters only so total output is also 50 liters so that is your so that is discharge okay and efficiency so suppose one impeller is drawing 50 liter so but multi stage pump also draw 50 liter only but high head is different for this both cases head is different so that is the same written here for developing high head so you should arrange the pump in series so in this condition the number of uh, impellers into your height that is called your manometric head we call you should both multiply but for high discharge i shown this picture suppose i need 100 liters so this pump will draw 50 liters this pump draw 50 liters okay sum of this here this 50 and q2 is 50 so total 100 so high head suppose if you need high head then you should arrange the pump in series if you need high discharge you need arrange the pump in parallel so in this condition the discharge will n into q so n is number of impellers suppose if you add another impeller if you add another impeller here okay and here what will happen the q1 plus q2 and this is suppose q3 impeller this is q3 pump so the total discharge is q3 like q1 q2 q3 so total discharge is here 150 liters like this high discharge you should arrange in parallel so what is the curve so the head for the higher head you should see here the higher head the pumps are arranged in series 
and for the higher discharge or higher flow rate you should arrange the pump in parallel so that is the case here okay now what is the efficiency how you calculate the efficiency of this characteristic curve in series and parallel in the series this is the formula q here sum of the uh, head will add and brake horsepower also be you add in the for efficiency in the parallel that here discharge is add discharge is had head is constant formula so here brake horsepower and head should be in this units okay please go through once next one based on your suction okay suction inlet that is a single suction pump that means the liquid enter only from the single side if you see the water will entering in this pump only from single side double suction means the water will enter from the both side so this is the most important okay the double suction impeller is similar to the two single suction impellers are cast back to back what does it mean suppose this is a single suction impeller again here one uh, single suction uh, attached another on common shaft so this will equal to the double suction pump that is a so the, because this draw water from this side and this side okay that is so this double suction design impeller eliminate the axial flow okay axial force on the impeller which allows for the higher flow than single suction what does it mean axial force mean or axial pump or draws the higher discharge higher discharge per given low head so we will discuss what is the axial force or axial pump in next slides next the based on your construct casing okay construction of your casing are and shaft arrangement so these are two types one is horizontal split casing here if you see this pump though we know that this x axis and this is the y axis so here the shaft is arranged parallel to the x axis like this horizontally and impellers are arranged in this like this on the vertical okay see the horizontal uh, central pump has vertical impellers mounted on horizontal shaft so these are pumps are above the ground surface will use and the suction lift of this pump is 6.5 meters vertical casing with reverse of this the shaft is horizontal impellers shaft is vertical so this is equal to your y axis similar to y axis so the shaft like this okay, this type of uh, pump example volume type pump or sump pump 